Okay, so now if you stand square, you go straight back, you're gonna squat down, you're gonna hit your butt first, then your back, then your arms, not your head. When you're ready, break fall. Good, okay, now freeze, Gerald, go back. Niven, knees in your chest. Show me the bottom of your feet, right? You're kicking. Your hands could be actually even in a fighting stance. You know, if somebody's above you, you're gonna kick them. Kick them in the knees, kick them in the face, whatever's closest. Make sure you get enough space, because I don't want you to try to stand up until you get that space. If you try to stand up and I tackle you, I might get you in a bad position. So you have to, you can only do this from a certain um, opportunity. You understand? Okay, so now you do get the space by kicking. You can go onto your side. Pick a side, post up on your elbow. Okay? You're not any closer to me than you were. You just went sideways. So we're in position two now. One is break fall, two is here. You can still kick. Not as good though. It might be better to fall back if you decide to kick or if they tackle you. That's your jujitsu position. Guard, open guard, butterfly guard, that type of stuff. So we got position two. Position two and a half is when you know you're gonna stand up, you're gonna put your foot and your hand down. Your elbow's gonna come up. Okay, so this is two and a half because you have to go here, but this is just into just a tr quick transition to three, which is standing. We balance on your hand and your foot, your butt comes up, right? And you bring the other leg all the way back into your fighting stance. So it's one, two, three, right? One is the break fall. Knees in your chest, beauty. Two is the side, two and a half, and then three. All right. We're gonna do three more, I'm not gonna count two and a half. You still gotta do it, you just go right to number three. One, hold on, wait for my count. Two, three. One, two, three. Nice. One. Two. Three. All right. Now, if you didn't, if you did five on one side, we're gonna do five on the other side. If you didn't do, if you kept switching sides, keep doing that. One. Okay, now watch this. <clears throat> the side you're gonna turn, right? So Gerald, turn onto one side. So you have a top side, you have a bottom side, right? Okay, so go back. The top side, you're gonna throw a kick as you go to the side. You see that? So that's kick number one. And then you got kick number one comes to position two. At two, you can still kick. You're in position two and a half right now. So go back to one. Do the kick and come up to two, not two and a half. Nope, not two and a half. Two is on your elbow. Nice, see that? Because now you can kick again with that leg. All right, and then two and a half and three up. Nice. All right, let's go. One. All right, Niven, kick and go to two. Nice. Two and a half and three up. Three more guys, just like that. I want to. When I say two, you're going to kick and get to that position. Ready? One. Two. Three. One. Keep your head up. Two. Three. Last one. One. Two, three. Oh, hey. <clears throat> That's the hardest thing in jujitsu or in fighting is to continuously have to get up after going to the floor. <clears throat> it's called feet to floor. But then once you hit the ground, you, you come back up. That's why wrestlers have such great conditioning. Okay, now, um, there was a fight on, uh, Nevin, you come first here. Hold this. It was a fight on Saturday. The guy got um, in that position, and he didn't kick. So what did the other guy do? What do you think? He got on top of him. 
Okay, you got it on top? And then what? That from that position, if you don't kick, what could the guy do to you? Okay. He's a grappler. <laughs> what else can you do? Ground and pound the shit out. Oh yeah. They have to stop the fight. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens because um, the guy was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu guy, which they're doing back there. But um, when they train in just jiu-jitsu, they don't realize that you should be actually be kicking like crazy. So. We're gonna do this drill just to keep that fresh in your mind, living you here. This way, right here. Face the scene, or if I have the scene facing you, Gerald's gonna break full. Okay, find a letter, get closer. <clears throat> One foot on the floor, use it to lift your butt up. You can keep your shoulders on the mat. You can keep your shoulders on the mat, Gerald. So you're still, you're still back. Your hands are up to protect, right? You might have to just scoot a little closer. Okay, now you should be able to scoot without putting your hands down like that. You just move your hips, shimmy down. From this position, you put one foot on the floor. Find a letter and up kick. One, two, come on, go to 10. Aim it, three, never keep the bag as you can, steady. Lift your hips higher. There you go, see that? Switch sides. Keep it close. Now. Keep it pushed to him. Oh, hey, now double kick. Double kick at the same time. That's it. You might have to scoot a little closer. There you go. Keep your hands up to protect, even while you're scooting. Nice. Oh, hey. That's it, pull the knees right back. Out and back. Ah. 10, right? Yep. Oh, hey. Let's go, Niven. That's it. Scoot close. Nice. Even closer. I think you should get your butt past that green line. Person's right on top of you, right? One foot down. Use that to push. Look, like this. Yeah, exactly. Foot flat. There you go. Lift your hips up as you kick. Good. Aim for one of the letters. There you go. That's it. Do like this, Niven. Right hand here. In the middle. Grab your shirt. Other hand, keep it up. Now just hold the, hold the shirt down so you don't have to keep adjusting it. At least keep one hand up like you're doing an elbow strike. It's blocking your whole head, see that? Like that is one, and then another one is like this. Oh, all right. So there's two. This blocks actually the whole head. As long as you can see. Aim for a letter. Keep the seam facing you, Gerald. Aim it, Niven. Look where you're kicking. Aim it on the R. Aim it for the R. There you go. Keep looking at it. You gotta look over the arm. Okay. And now you can switch hands if you want. Oh, hey. I lost count. Go to 10. It's 10. Switch hands, switch feet. Foot flat, knee up. Yes. Nice. That's it. Scoot your butt past the green line if you have to. Hold it. Hold the shirt down. There you go. Keep kicking. Nice. That's it. Nice. There you go. Keep looking at the bag. We're exactly where you're kicking. It's a target. 10. That's 10. Both feet now. Both feet at the same time. No, no, stay back. Yep. Scoot close if you have to.
One, two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees in your chest though. Don't drop your feet to the floor. Knees in your chest. Roll to the side with a kick if you want. Boom. That's one. Oh, that's two, sorry. Two and a half. Go right through two and a half. Oh, wait. Nice. All right. Let's um, keep the action moving today. Normally we do five sets. We just do three right now. So that's one. <clears throat> three to five sets.